Gibby Gang, let's dive all the way in. Worldwide exclusive. Gibby Gang, stand up with your boy. We got my man Joseph Ralston back in the building with the request. And I know this brother always knows how to challenge me. We got Dan, I'm going to say the government name, Dan Timinski, I believe is how you pronounce it. He's an American bluegrass composer, vocalist, and instrumentalist. I guess we're reacting to country music today, so y'all know that's right up my alley. I, I've never heard this man. He goes by Timinski. The song is called Southern Gothic. The album itself that this is from is called Gothic. I believe it dropped in 2017. I, I honestly don't know what to expect with this one. I'm not going to make any off-the-wall interpretations, but I am going to, if you Google Southern Gothic, I was just curious to ask, ask what it meant. Southern Goth Gothic is a subgenre of Gothic fiction and American literature that takes place in the American South. So, I'm not sure, man. I'm not going to go off the wall. Y'all can inform me if you know exactly what they're talking about, but that's what we got the official video for. Noggin Thumper's already inserted. Banger Shades close by. If you rock with it, hit that notification bell, because a lot of y'all thought I was taking a break from posting, but I post every single week so youtube has clearly decided to uh put me in the algorithm of, of blacklisted so probably because my trump flags my christian beliefs i speak on what i what i believe but at the end of the day if you disagree that's perfectly okay we're adults we can have a respectful disagreement we can still be friends like that's what make the world makes the world beautiful in my opinion so we all got different trains of thoughts and different way of processing things and i love it so if you're here rocking with great music i'm rocking with you let's get it popping to miss turn that thing up hold on He's, it, 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 there's fact, that's facts, man, because preachers, I'm, I'm a Christian man, but I'm not, it, everybody in the church, every man that, that stands at the throne, and then that God is at the throne, no matter what, no matter who's in, in office as president, no matter who's in Congress, no matter who's uh, the head of that podium at your, at your local church, it doesn't matter, God's going to have the last word at the end of the day, but man is going to do man things, so man makes mistakes, I make mistakes, I used to be sending left and right, as I'm sure you have too, I'm probably going to make a lot more mistakes, but some preachers, man, a lot of preachers give the word, whether it's Catholic, Christian, Lutheran, Baptist, whatever it is, they give the word a bad name because they're out there just trying to get money from people, trying to take being greedy, using the word in the wrong way, leveraging the word to make a, a profitable gain or a, a physical, like, raunchy type gain off of it. And it's horrible. The same things happen to, happen in politics. That's, I got the Trump flags, but at the end of the day, Trump makes mistakes too. I don't like the way he carries himself all the time. I'm replacing those with a nice biblical verse, a nice... Bible verse that that I, I can look up to and, and get motivation, inspiration from, because that's what matters to me at the end of the day. I did vote for him. I mean, it's out here in the open. Y'all already know who I voted for. But at the end of the day, don't look at those people like gods. Trump is not a god. Biden's not a god. The people, uh, your pastor is not a god. Like that is what it is. A lot of them give give that uh that group of people as a whole they get put into a box because those people messed up. That doesn't don't label me a bad person because Trump messed up or uh my local pastor messed up. It, my mine didn't as far as I know, but I'm sure you you've seen situations to where those people give a whole entire race, a whole uh, entire group of people a bad name because they made mistakes because they got greedy and, and wanted to find a, a loophole to get a gain out of it. It's, it's not right, man. So talk to him, Tominski. Not the good Ran Lord over. shaking his head Looking down thinking we ain't heard a word he said mm. word Not following that word. Said. So we got the woman dressed in white. I'm assuming she's meant to represent one of God's angels, one of the, the good people in his, in his world. But I'm not saying that the girl dressed in dark is bad. Like you could believe in, you could be a complete atheist and be a great person. You could be a phenomenal person. I could still rock with you. But I believe at the end of the day, like you got to, 
I ain't even gonna have the God talk with y'all today. Y'all know how, what I believe in and all that, but he, he clearly is a God-fearing man. But there's a church on every corner. That doesn't mean it's the church you should go to. You don't even really have to go to church to praise the Lord. You can be at the Church of St. Mattress in bed. If you drop to your knees and you know who is king at the end of the day and you're, you, you lay out your frustrations, lay out your cares, lay out the things that, that you're trying to attain in life, that's what that's what God wants. He wants a relationship with you. So he don't care if you if you go to church to pray for him. I know it says in the good book you you shall you should you should pray in church. You should go to church, attend church, be around like-minded people. But some of those churches they are corrupt. So you just got to get your prayer on whenever you can. Wake up grateful, go to sleep grateful. That's how I look at it. Come on. That's just me and my opinion though. Know? Must be something in the muddy water. So you saw the girl, it looked like the girl that was, was dressed in white meant to represent good. It's not always what it seems because she's out there getting her drink. I'm not, I personally, that you should not get drunk. Like you shouldn't get drunk. You shouldn't go crazy. You shouldn't black out. It's, it's okay to have the occasional drink every now and then. But if you're going straight by the book, you shouldn't be even messing with alcohol. It's a sin. It's a, it's a depressant. You shouldn't be messing with alcohol. Shouldn't be smoking. Shouldn't be dealing with uh, sexual sins and things like that. Watching porn, promiscuity, acting a fool. I was lost once too. You know what I'm saying? I still haven't completely found my way. I'm not a perfect man. I never will be. That's only Jesus. But, hey man, it's not always what it seems. Because this person right here, dressed in the black coat, dressed in the black cloak, she she might be a real good person. Like it, it's not always what it seems. So those pastors that you see, they could be sitting behind closed doors, just like that girl in white. This one could be a a, a great God fearing person, serving people left and right, helping people, lending a hand in the community, doing what she got to do to. To just leave her, her positive legacy on this earth before she rolls out. So it's not, don't always believe everything at the surface. God looking down like, come on now. So you saw the woman being baptized. You saw when she looked in the mirror, she saw something different. The blonde, the blonde woman in the white cloak, that's when that was past sinning out there drinking, acting a fool. It looked like she was with the man that was was toting a gun. I don't know if he was toting a gun and, and defending his family. It didn't look that way. It looked like when he when that lyric hit about the devil being right here, who knew the devil would be in this town? It looked like he was out there sinning out there acting a fool, about to kill somebody in cold blood or something like that. I'm not sure exactly how you want to take it. Y'all let me know. I know somebody somebody out there that's well more versed in the Bible and in the good word than me is going to gonna let me know. And I appreciate it. Inform me, humble me. But I took it as that that was her past self. She looked all innocent and, and, and all that. And the other woman looked, looked guilty. The woman dressed in black, dark hair, typical goth type stereotype. But then she was baptized. She had blood on her hands. She repented, cleaned the blood off, started fresh. Dropped to her knees, started praying like, I need help, Lord. I, I don't have it figured out. I'm, I, I want to be a better human being. I've messed up. And that's what God wants at the end of the day. He wants you to, to get to know his son, build a relationship with him, wash your sins away. Don't forget about what you did. Learn from him. Move forward. Get better. That's what it's all about, man. I'm not saying 
n none of us are going to be perfect. You could be the worst. You could you could have murdered somebody. Now I'm not saying that that's something that you can. E you, that's not something you could just easily forgive, but. You got to want to get better. You got to truly, honestly, down to your core, want to repent and grow in the Lord and get to know him. Outside of that, man, I, I don't know. That's just what I believe. That's what I believe. I'd rather put my eggs in that basket and and there'd be a way for me to have eternal life and get to the gates of heaven than, than try to figure out my own path because I was lost when I did that. It didn't get me anywhere. So I don't want to just be here one, here one minute, gone the next, and nobody remembers me. I get nowhere. I'm just dead and forgotten. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to live for something. I want to serve other people, make people smile, leave a positive impact on this world. That's why I dive into the good book. That's why I believe in, in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's just me, though. You can believe something different, I still rock with you. This sound, when it comes to the music, though, to Minsky, laying it down. Bury that old Jew. Bury it, leave it behind you. What happened five minutes ago, it doesn't have to be you moving forward. Shout out to Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, I may live there someday. I don't know. Florida is, is what it is. I, lo I love Florida, but you never know where I'm going to end up. I want a whole bunch of land. I want like 100 acres of land that somebody else can help take care of while I get to ride my four-wheeler and go crazy like that. But for right now, I'm soaking up the beach, live right across the street. I love it. So that's just me. Shout out to Tominski. Shout out to y'all. Give me game. Please let me know exactly all the biblical references in this one and what I should take from it. Let me know. Like, I really want to know. I'm just giving you my opinion on it, my take on it. But subscribe if you're new, notification bell so you know whenever I post, because I do post every week. Some of y'all didn't know that, but I do post every single week. YouTube just doesn't like me for whatever reason. It is what it is. Uh, social media is down below. Shout out to my man Joseph Ralston for making this one happen. You always challenge my equilibrium, my train of thought, and you've never requested a non banger, brother. Like, I actually appreciate it. That man's sound, Dan Taminski, his vocal power, it was beautiful. I love the country vibes to it, and I would definitely give him another one. So comment below what song I should do next. Outside of that, y'all have a good one. I'm praying for you. I love you. D. Gibby, out. So you want to learn how to trade. You've made it to this point in the video. By, by this time, it's the end of the video, and you want to learn how to trade. You want to learn how to do what your boy does for every every single day. I teach people how to do it. I've been doing it, but I don't think you really have what it takes to do it. If you do, you'll get a hold of me via Instagram, via email, whatever it takes. Don't believe the hype that you see on Instagram as far as like I am Academy, and I'm calling them out. All them them special gurus that make it seem easy to send out signals that, that give you money in the bank. It's not money in the bank. You got to put in the work time after time. It's going to take you a solid six to 12 months to you heard what I said six to 12 months to really attain this skill set and be able to discipline yourself to be consistent in making money it's not going to happen overnight nobody can just hand you money if people are handing out signals and they're handing out all this and that it's fake don't believe the hype man they don't allow anybody to put to put your money in their hands man you got to learn how to do this skill set on your own so you don't have to rely on anybody to trade but yourself man so if you're if you're serious about it if you're tired of the situation you're in you see what i've done over the past five years you see how i've worked my way from from being from illinois to living on the beach in florida i'm not going to say where because it just disclosed information y'all see this post on instagram y'all see where i'm at i'm not doing that to flex i'm saying what's possible through trading after you put in the hard work time and time again if you really want to learn Get a hold of me. I would love to help you. If not, if you're happy with your present lifestyle, that's perfectly okay. I'm not on a pedestal. You're not on a pedestal. We're all on the same page. I'm just saying if you want to learn another skill set and acquire some, whether it's a supplemental income or a full-time income, I'd love to help you. So get a hold of me and we'll make it happen. If not, man, y'all have a blessed day. I'm gone.